guys, welcome to a new video. Today I wanted to talk about hair care and more specifically hair care at night. What you do to your hair at night can make a huge difference in the quality of your hair and just the way your hair looks and how healthy it is. I have made some changes to my overnight hair care over the past months, years, that I feel have had fantastic results. So I'm gonna go through everything I do at night to save and improve my hair. So let's get started straight away. The first and probably one of the most important things is actually something I have stopped doing and that is that I no longer sleep on wet hair. This is a bad habit that I've had for most of my life actually. I would always shower and wash my hair before I went to bed and then I, I would sleep on wet hair. This is not ideal for a couple of reasons. First of all, when you are lying on your hair and, you know, parts of your scalp, it doesn't get the chance to dry as fast as it normally would if you were to let your hair air dry. So your hair and, and your scalp stays wet for a lot longer. And being wet for long periods of time isn't good for your skin or your hair. The second reason being that hair is more prone to damage when it's wet. It can snag more easily or stretch out, which leaves it weaker. Plus, it can really mess up the texture of your hair when you wake up and leave it, you know, all weird and kinky key in places where you where the hair has been folded at night and stuff like that. I have tried to combat this several different ways but the only way I found it really worked is to move my showers over to the morning, wash my hair in the morning and then let it air dry and that has made a huge difference. My hair dries in a nicer texture and I feel like it has done great things for my scalp health as well. Second thing I've done, and this is something I have been doing for a while, but I kind of changed up the way how I do it, is to sleep with my hair up. Again, when you're sleeping, you are tossing and turning, you're lying on your hair, it is being rubbed against itself and against your pillowcase, and there's just a lot that can happen to your hair at night. Um, people whose hair tangles easily can get super tangled. Now, I personally don't struggle with tangles, my hair doesn't tangle, but it does get split ends and damaged ends super, super quickly. I can can literally cut my hair and then have split ends a week and a half later. Not since I've been doing hair singeing by the way, but that's a story for a different video. Tying your hair up, keeping it compact, keeping it, you know, preventing it from being dragged around and rubbed against itself and things is a great way to prevent a lot of damage on especially the lengths and ends of your hair. So what I've been doing is I have been putting my hair up in just a super quick messy bun with a scrunchie made out of a really slippery material. Preferably you want to go something that is similar to silk or satin, um, just very slippery, smooth, nothing to catch on to, very little texture. Plus the scrunchie makes the elastic a little bit softer, so it's not, you won't get as much of an indent in your hair. What I do is I just literally grab my hair and I will alternate between doing low buns and high buns, depending on my mood. I'll just grab my hair, fold it in half, fold it again, and that is that's literally all. And this um, also is great to preserve curls if you want to carry any curls over to the next day. I will usually then do it on top of my head. But sleeping with your hair up in some type of way, and for me personally that is a bun with a scrunchie, is a great way to prevent a lot of damage. The third thing is something I have been doing for years as well and something that has proven to be amazing time and time again and that is to apply some oil in my hair before I go to bed. So I do kind of overnight oil treatments, I guess. The way I do this is I take a couple of drops of hair oil and just apply those on my ends. Alternatively, I'll take a lot of the oil and apply it all throughout the lengths and ends of my hair and really saturate my hair in the oil. That is what I sometimes do when I'm about to wash my hair the next day, just to give it a little bit of an extra boost and this really 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 amps up the shine and moisture in your hair and just overall makes it look and feel amazing. Really if you do not use oil in your hair yet it is my number one biggest hair tip go for it. I use a DIY hair oil, there is a recipe for it on my channel, but you could also use coconut oil, jojoba oil, um, argan oil of course, or just Olive oil, anything you have in the kitchen pretty much will work, but that is definitely something that is worth trying if you have dry or damaged hair. And the last thing I have been doing, and this is also huge, is to do overnight curls. I absolutely love heatless overnight curling methods. It works, um, basically you wet your hair with water, potentially a little bit of setting lotion, and then you twist your hair into some type of spiral or curly shape, and then your hair dries throughout the night, 
and when you wake up, you will have beautiful curls. And this protects your hair in several ways. First of all, of course, it leaves it nice and compact and tied off and protects it, especially if you cover it with a silk scarf, which is often recommended when doing heatless waves or curls. And the second reason is that you then don't have to use heated hair tools to make your curls in the morning because you will already have beautiful overnight heatless curls. They are overall a much safer way to curl your hair, much more hair friendly, much less damaging. My preferred overnight curling method at the moment is the bathrobe curl. You want to make sure that your hair isn't wet, it's just damp. You, your hair needs something to dry out of, but you definitely don't want it to be wet because um, the hair needs to have dried before you take out the curls. This leaves you with beautiful beachy style waves, takes just literally seconds to take out in the morning and it has been consistently good on me. So this is definitely my favorite way to do overnight heatless curls. And I have been able to almost completely replace my curling iron just by you know calculating in when I need to do my heatless curls, even while running a YouTube channel. So this is definitely something Thing that I recommend and I usually do my hair in heatless curls on the days when I'm not washing my hair so I will alternate between having straight hair the one day and then curls the next day. And that is it guys, those are the steps I take to make my hair healthier and protect it overnight so that I wake up with nicer hair than I went to bed with. So I really hope you enjoyed this video guys and found it helpful. If you did don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store there will be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!